Good morning, BCA Wolverines, and welcome back. Today is Tuesday, April 13th. Hope you had a fabulous spring break. At this time, though, if you'd please stand and join us in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. All right, guys, there are 36 days left in this school year. What great things do you still have left to do this year? Are there certain classes or goals that you had set that you need to pick up the pace on a bit? Do you have a legacy still left to leave? So be thinking about that as we approach the end of the school year at this point, just about seven to eight weeks remaining. Our book of the day is called Wolf Hollow by, I believe, Lauren Walk. It's difficult for me to read that there. But when a new student comes to her quiet Pennsylvania town, Annabelle finds the courage she needs to stand up to the bullying intentions that follow. This is a historical fiction book. And if that interests you, then please check it out on the Mac and Via app. Or if you have questions, contact Ms. Voigt. Don't forget, ZMS Picture Day is finally coming up next Tuesday. Uh, BCA students will receive information by the end of this week in order to sign up for those pictures. Again, they will be in the afternoon on Tuesday, April 20th, so please plan accordingly. Today, April 13th, is National Scrabble Day. You see, before words with friends and apps and smartphones and all that, people actually sat at tables and played board games. Scrabble was one of them. It was the early predecessor to words with friends. So at some point, try to, you know, find an old antique store, maybe a Goodwill. You'll find a Scrabble game hanging around. Pull it out. Play a game with your family tonight. Put the phones away and just have some unplugged time. Our joke of the day, mentor teachers, I can assure you this may need some explanation. What's the difference between a literalist and a kleptomaniac? A literalist takes things literally, and a kleptomaniac takes things literally. <laughs> yeah, many of you are just shaking your head. You don't get it. It's all good. All right, guys, make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. Have a terrific Tuesday.